Hey guys, welcome back to the next vlog, episode two. It's time to get your journey started. You've made the first step, you're watching the videos, you've accepted that something needs to change, and now it's time to get it going. So first thing I want you to do is, on a piece of paper, write down everything that you love about your body. Now, too many times when we're trying to start a new diet or start a new journey, we start on the most negative way possible. It's filled with hate and negative thoughts. Now, this is meant to be life-changing and it's meant to be bettering your life in a good way. So why start on the most negative term? So, whatever it is, whether it be you like your arms, your hips, your chest, your butt, whatever it is, jot it down and then let's get started. Now, at the start of the year for me, my mind was just filled with every single bad thing that anyone's ever said to me. That's what got me going. That's what, in the morning when I woke up, that's what got me training. But it's not the most healthiest way to keep going because you feel like shit. And what this needs to do is really make you feel good again. So next question is, are you happy? Now, if you've answered no, that's all right. But what is gonna make you happy? For me, I accept, I was like, fuck. I need to lose weight. Got to a point where everything I saw was just shit. You know what I mean? My whole view on life was shit. Um, so, what's gonna make you happy? Is it losing a few kilos? Is it you just wanna be fit? You just wanna be running more? You know, whatever it is, let's write this down. Okay, next, and probably one thing that I live by daily now, is goal setting. You need to have a goal. Whether it be a weekly goal, a monthly goal, or a big, you know, one year goal. For me, I like to break my goals up into pretty much three things you could call them, three little ways. The big, the big one is the long-term goal. So for me, that is to get under 75 kilos. I know that's not gonna happen in two months. You know, it's I've accepted that, but I'm working towards it every single day. Now, I don't really have a timeline on that big goal either. I just know I want to reach that. And if it takes me a year, it takes me a year. If it takes me two years, it takes me two years. Next, I have, you could call it like a middle goal. I'm not sure what to call it, but this is something that isn't gonna happen in a day or a week. This is something that's a few, uh, a few months away. For me, that's to be 99 kilos. So when I started, 122. Right now, I'm about 102 kilos. My big goal right now is to get out of the triple digits and back into double digits. Um, so each week, we're just losing a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight, and we're gonna get there eventually. There's no rush though. I just know this one's not gonna take a whole year if I stick to my diet and exercise. Next, what you wanna have is more of like a, a weekly goal or daily goals. So you can have as many goals as you want. Me, personally, I have maybe 10 goals off the top of my head. These are goals I'm working for. Not all of them health and fitness. I've got a lot of goals just in my general life that I'm working for. But ever since setting goals at the start of the year, life just feels so much better for me. I'm working towards things. I know where I wanna be and I'm just still striving for that. Now, if you don't know, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Just take it day at a time, day at a time. Just try and get yourself to feel better because then when you figure out what you want to do, you can go for it, you know? No matter what age you are, you can quit that study, you can quit that job, you can always move into something else. So what I want you to do is set, for this next week, set a weekly goal for you. Now, if you're someone that's never exercised before, maybe this goal is just going to be, next week, you're going to exercise two times. Just two. You don't need to be rushing into this because the main thing with this whole lifestyle change is you want to feel good. So it's not about blasting all this fat off real quickly and then over time you just, you feel happy for a moment, but then what, in like two, three months, nothing's really changed with your lifestyle. You've just blasted this weight off and then you're slowly putting it back on, back on, which is something I did for the last 20 years. I couldn't tell you how many times for a month, I lost like, oh, I just lost 10 kilos, look at, and then, bang, 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 I've put back on 20. So, it's all about you feeling good. Do stuff that's gonna make you happy. Now, maybe next week's goal is, you're gonna cut out all soft drinks. So just have that as a goal. No soft drink for me this week. Once you reach that goal, have your next goal set. So you're just continuing and continuing to move forward, because that's the best direction. 
The biggest thing too, for me was be a little selfish because you only get one body and one life. I know it sounds kind of corny, but it's just this mentality that I picked up that if my body works better, I work better. And when my body works better, I feel better. So that means I could just keep going, keep going. You know my eight hour shift at work, I wasn't feeling it as much like I used to where I was dripping with sweat because I was so puffed out. What I want this to be for you is, I want you to wake up and just be ready to go because that's how I feel right now. I'm motivated in the morning, I know my goals and every single day I'm just working towards them. Block out everyone else's nonsense as well. This is just time for you to focus on yourself. Be that little bit selfish and just look after yourself. All right, now that we have our goals in place, what I think is the probably the next important thing of trying to change your whole lifestyle is what we want to do is put you in the best and most positive environment possible. Now for me, when David introduced me and you're going to be introduced to David very shortly, an important friend of mine, when he introduced me to the gym, it just worked, you know? I was motivated, he was motivated, and we're working for our goals. Every single day we hit it. But I'm not gonna tell you and sit here and go, you need to go sign up for a gym. Because maybe a gym isn't for you. Maybe that it intimidates you. Because I know when I walked in, I was so scared. You know, just scared of people judging me, scared that I was overweight, I'm like, people are gonna laugh at me. But I'm just gonna put this on you so you know, no one does that because everyone in there is working for their own goals. And just, if you do see anyone that is, they're a piece of shit. Because you're in there working and busting your ass off, so block that shit out because it shouldn't happen and I don't ever think it does happen. All right, so you wanna pick something that you enjoy doing. Because now that four months on, I genuinely enjoy going to the gym. It's like something there, I finish work and bang, we are going because we are locked in and it's fun, you know, we enjoy doing it. Yeah, okay, sometimes it's shit when you're mid-set and you're just dying, but it's still enjoyable and we wake up and we just want to go more and more and more. It's sort of bad sometimes because we just keep going and going and going. They're like, wait, we got to let our body catch up. So once your mind is locked in, your body's going to catch up. And I do think the mind is the most important thing with this whole weight loss and my whole journey so far is I got my mindset and now my body's just catching up. It's catching up, it's catching up. It's feeling better. You know, some days you're gonna feel like shit, but just look after your body and go with your body. This is why I'm not gonna say go exercise two, three hours a day because that just does not work. Maybe start small, maybe just half an hour a day. Now, if you don't know what you like, whether it be maybe it's a sport that you enjoy, I'd say try and play that sport as much as possible. If a gym you do like and enjoy, try and maybe go with someone. Just get a bit motivated and do it for yourself. Now, if there's nothing that really like tickles your fancy, you don't wanna go for a run, maybe keep it simple and let's just go for a walk. Do you have a pet? Can you walk your dog or something? I used to walk my dog in summer. Now it's winter in Melbourne and it's, it's pretty shitty out there. But that still doesn't stop you. Just say you work in the city. Maybe catch the earlier train in and walk a few extra blocks around. Bring an umbrella, it doesn't matter. Your legs are still going and you're still moving. Maybe swimming's your thing. So go, do a swimming class after work. The possibilities are endless. You have access to so many things. Or even home workout. You know, you could do push-ups, sit-ups, squats at home. There is plenty of things. And this in the internet is filled and filled with home workouts that you can do. If you're unsure, send me a message on my Instagram. My Instagram's plugged in down in the description on the bottom. I'll help you out. I'm more than happy to just maybe try and give you some ideas, throw some things out there that maybe you end up enjoying. I never thought I'd be going to a gym six times a week, to be completely honest. At the start of the year, I never thought that I would be going to a gym six times in a week but I genuinely enjoy it. And since being introduced to it, I've just fallen in love with the whole sport of bodybuilding. Maybe CrossFit's for you. There is no one here to judge. Whatever you decide, just make sure you stick with it. You enjoy it because once you start enjoying it, you're going to feel better. And that's all it should be about. Ignore that weight for a second. Yes, work towards losing the weight, losing the weight. But what I do more of is, am I enjoying it? Because any situation I don't like, I just leave it. Because all it is about 
It's making myself feel as good as I can, and I want you to feel just as good. Now, before I go, I want to let you know just one more thing. It's okay to fail your goals sometimes. It's okay to not reach that, oh, I really wanted to lose one kilo this week, but I only lost 500 grams. That's okay. It is okay to fail. Failing is that thing that just keeps you going and keeps pushing you. For me, I failed some of my goals. At the start of the year, I got a few questions about this too, that shirt I wore on my Instagram. If you haven't seen the photo, check out the Instagram. Now, that photo, I took February 1, so right when I got back from my overseas trip. Uh, that shirt was for my mum's wedding. I was in the bridal party. Now, my goal at the start of the year, I took that photo. No one knew about this. No one knew I took any photo. And I had till April 1st, my mum's wedding, to fit into that shirt. Now, I'll put up a photo. Hopefully, I've put it up by then. I failed the goal. I didn't look as good as I wanted to look in that shirt. But the day had come. I woke up and I was happy because I felt good. I knew I was doing things for myself. I was working my ass off and I looked at myself in the mirror. Okay, I didn't look that good, but I could smile and hold my head up high that whole day because it was okay to fail that time. What it did that next day, I was straight back at it. Just working my butt off because I still wanted to hit that big goal. And I just felt that good. Even though looking at some of the photos, I'm like, oh, it's all right though. At that moment, I was happy. Now I can look back on it and say, hey, I was there, there, and now I'm here. So, don't be afraid to fail them goals too. This is why it's so important setting them goals because what you can do, adjust. What I did to myself is I set a goal to lose so much weight in two months. Did not work. But what I learned after that first month when I adjusted is, why am I rushing into this? Let's just take it a day at a time. And that's what I want you to do. Just take it a day at a time. Let's set realistic goals and let's get it done. I want to give you a big thank you for tuning into this video. I appreciate the love and support you're giving me. Also, next video, if you want to see what gets me out of bed when my body does not want to function, subscribe, check it out. I'll see you soon. Thank you.